Greetings fellow wine lovers. Thanks for stopping by WineExpedition.com. I'm Neil Myers. Hope you're enjoying the site. I hope you're enjoying the videos, whether you're watching them here on the site or across the internet, thanks to our friends at TubeMogul.com. Time for another tasting. And as it cools down, I'm getting in the mood for cab. So today we're gonna to taste a cab from Santa Cruz Mountains, which is one of my favorite spots. We visited not too long ago. Um, if you're not familiar, if you've never been, you gotta go. You know, you can, you're, you're on the beach in Santa Cruz uh, on the boardwalk where they shot the movie The Lost Boys uh, and then you drive 15 minutes and you're up in the mountains surrounded by pine trees looking down towards the ocean and surrounded by vineyards and some pretty amazing uh, winemakers and vineyards up in the Santa Cruz area uh, and it certainly is cab country uh, you've heard us probably talk about Ridge and their Montebello property and the Ridge Montebello uh, cab is sort of uh, you know akin to nectar of the gods so uh, there's some great cabs happening up there you know steep hillside, mountainside uh, Cabernets uh, grown up there and uh, it's pretty exciting. So uh, today, without further ado, we have the 2003 Thomas Fogarty Santa Cruz Mountains Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, Fogarty, uh, not far from Ridge's Montebello property, at least as the, as the crow flies, uh, it's in the same sort of area, kind of west of Palo Alto, uh, in the mountains there between the city and the coast. Um, so let's give it a pour, shall we? 2003, this was actually released in 07, but it spent, uh, if I'm not mistaken, 36 months on oak, a mixture of French, American, and Hungarian oak. Um, nice, dark, foreboding cab, beautiful color. Hmm, wow. Blackberries uh, wrapped in licorice. That's what I'm. That's what I'm smelling. A little bit of uh, tobacco leaf. Um, these grapes are actually grown uh, above the town of Los Gatos, and it's a blend of. It's mostly cab. It's like 77% cabernet with uh, some malbec, some merlot, uh, some cab franc. Uh, it's about a Bordeaux blend. Just missing the petite Bordeaux. Yeah, it's a beautiful, I mean, I could, I could just smell this wine all day. It's just beautiful blackberries and blueberries surrounded by licorice and tobacco leaves, essentially. Mmm, more of the same. Dark fruits, dark berries, sort of enveloped in chocolate and tobacco. Mm. There's a nice balance of the of the fruit notes and those secondary characteristics. Tannins are kind of squeezing my tongue. Nice finish. This is a good steak wine or a, a tri-tip roast beef, anything beef. This is a good. This is perfect pairing for that. Um, and again, now that it's it's starting to chill, you know, get get a little cold and you know, sweater weather outside at night, you know, I could sit out in the balcony and uh, look down to the to the lights of the city and, and have a glass of this, and I'd be I'd be hunky dory. Hmm. Yeah, my tongue is just those tans are. Hmm. Yummy. I'll say it. I said it. I'll say it again. This cab normally retails if you, uh, I think the suggested retail is 50 bucks, but right now it's on sale. Uh, our friends at KNL Wine Merchants have it on sale for 25 bucks, either at one of the three retail locations or online at KNL.com. So uh, if you love Santa Cruz or you've always wanted to go, uh, if you love Santa Cruz cabs or you've always wanted to try one, uh, if you fit in any one of those categories, this is a bottle you should pick up. It's a great deal at 25 bucks. Um, until next time. I'll be enjoying this Thomas Fogarty 2003 Santa Cruz Mountains Cabernet Sauvignon. I'm Neil Myers from WineExpedition.com. Cheers.